morning, Princess. Here I am at a charging station in celebration. It is uh, down the street, shall we say, uh, from my place. It is uh, one of the green lots. It's uh, in, I guess, one of the condo areas. The other ones over by the rec center and the town hall are not active yet. It's been a couple months, I think, since they've been installed. Maybe we'll try and follow up on that, maybe even walk by today. So uh, my plan is to uh, just try these out, make sure they can activate and everything. Don't see why not. You have to use the QR code. Then uh, walk back to uh, my place and I expect to get a quick workout in, then make some plans for the day. I don't really have anything going on. I have no uh, reservations at Walt Disney World. It is cloudy and... Uh, very cool. So uh, that necessarily won't impact my plans. I just don't have any. <laughs> but that's my immediate plan. So I'm going to try this out and see how it goes and probably only let her sit here for a couple of hours and get the experience because this would be a good option for days that I, I for whatever reason, need to, want to, or maybe I'll just try it driving directly home from Celebration without having to stop uh, at either Champions Gate or Sebring or Okeechobee or Weston or any of those places. All right, I'm going to connect up and uh, start my walk. I did bring the scooter uh, in case uh, there is some rain in the forecast. Always be prepared. That turned out to be uh, pretty easy. So we're drawing seven now eight kilowatts, and this is a residential price. It's a 0.11 cents per kilowatt hour, and plus a 6% fee, which is a good price uh, for this kind of thing. It's a little bit more than I would pay at home, uh, straight off my own meter, but uh, this is certainly a great solution for uh, this area, and... I I would think, I would hope, <laughs> that at least some of the uh, charging stations run by the energy companies, this is Duke Energy and like the FPL stations, would be a little bit more competitive uh, with their rates because some of them are um, like, I think, 30 cents a kilowatt hour or something like that. Uh, wait, I, I said 11 cents a kilowatt hour, not 0.11 cents a kilowatt hour. Yeah, so instead of 30 cents a kilowatt hour from the utilities, a little bit closer to, you know, residential billing or maybe even a program where if you register your account and you are like a local, you get closer to residential rates. But uh, I'm good for now, eight kilowatts. The car says it'll be done uh, at 1.30 and uh, that's uh, three hours from now. I don't need the full charge. So I'm only gonna let her sit here uh, while I work out and then come and see what uh, the deal is. I do want to figure out what the deal with the parking is. Uh, if if the cars here passed uh, the full charge, uh, they don't say in the app they start charging. So we'll have to figure that out because I really would only want to plug in overnight and then pick her up in the morning. So I will have to figure that out for sure sometime. And the scooter uh, does fit in the trunk, albeit a bit awkwardly if I don't lower the steering column. But uh, this is a little bit easier to get in and out because I don't have to keep adjusting. Uh, it works for now. Won't work if there's anything on the cargo shelf, but so far, uh, yeah, this is a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna grab Miss, um, hmm, she doesn't have a name. Maybe we'll give her one. All right, and uh, start the walk. I am back after a two and a half hour uh, charging session. I mean, I went back, I worked out, uh, you know, I walked and everything. So that was uh, all worthwhile. And uh, this, Level two here took the car from 68% to 90%. I did stop the charge, so maybe I should have let it go because according to the screen, it should have charged to 95% unless the little bars don't actually mean 5%. Gotta look into that. Either way, $3.20, which is uh, sure, uh, expected, I guess. And uh, hey, great experiment. I... Now, I probably should have let it sit here for a while to see if there was a parking charge, but the um, the uh, screen does not list one. So I'm I'm really going to think not, only because it would be terribly impractical to expect people to come out here in the wee hours 
to move their car after it finishes charging, but definitely want to make sure. All right, it is kind of a dreary day. It's misty, and uh, I, I took the scooter back because I didn't want to get wet, uh, although I'm now just moist. Universal. I am going to and go and I am going to and go. No. The plan now is uh, Universal. Maybe going to a park. I don't know. Uh, they were at capacity last weekend. I expect them to be at capacity today unless the weather keeps uh, people away. Who knows? It might happen. But I'm going to go and look at uh, the Hard Rock, which I've never been in. And I've seen bunch of videos, whatever. So I, I do definitely want to go and check that out for the first time. Probably a snack because I am really hungry. And that's really all I have, all I have planned for today. Um, it's not a park day. Like I said, the weather is just not very good. But it'll be a walk around, do something day. Uh, have to get out of the house because um, there's nothing to do. And I planned it that way. So get me out of the house. And uh, all right. Off to Universal. Even if it ends up being just for posterity, I am an ET364. Since I got my pass, this is the first time I've parked in this garage. At least we're on the same level, but boy are we far. The Prime is all the way at the opposite end of the garage from the uh, catwalk, bridge, whatever you want to call it. Taking the very picturesque walking path to the Hard Rock, I'm treated to some views of Universal Orlando Resort that I've never seen before. So across the waterway is City Walk, and here now we have a lovely view of the backside of City Walk. There are no boats that pass through here, but oh my, is this an absolutely lovely little waterway. And uh, we're gonna take the path that follows it, maybe? We'll see. Wasn't even thinking about it. Curious little space by the water. Maybe uh, you could do a small wedding here or something. And to be sure, this is not the main path. The, the main path, the wider path, is over there. I'm uh, still walking along the waterfront version of the path, which much more scenic, much more enjoyable. Even with such little space relatively here in Central Florida, Universal has managed to do a fantastic job with it. You would uh, never know there's, uh, I think, like a 3,500 car parking lot just beyond those trees. It's right there. I, I can't even see it. On my return trip, I will definitely be taking the launch, which uh, boards just up ahead here. I want to see what they have to eat in the hotel. Definitely something. I am uh, hungry. Hungry-er. Wasn't even thinking about that either. I, of course, expected to find the lobby, but not up such a huge flight of stairs. Hmm. I am back at City Walk after uh, finding out that pretty much everything over at the Hard Rock was closed, uh, except for a little grab and go, but there was like almost nobody there and wasn't sure if they were serving anything and I wanted more than a, a donut or a parfait. So I just finished up here at Auntie, uh, Auntie M's? No, Auntie Annie, Auntie Annie's, the pretzel place. Perhaps the second, maybe third time in my life I've been to one of these. And it was good. I actually enjoyed the pizza pretzel. So, uh, perfect. I wish I'd gotten it earlier. Um, I'm now going to just uh, maybe take a lap around City Walk and uh, see what's new. Probably call it early. Um, uh, the weather's not going to clear. The parks here are both at capacity. So, uh, this is pretty much it for the day. And um, I don't know. That means up early tomorrow, we'll figure something else out. We'll see. I don't know, I might get dessert somewhere. That would be the only plan. But um, yeah, well, there's the other hard rock. I got an email reminder today letting me know, well, reminding me that my express is actually good starting at two o'clock this last week. That means I will be here a couple of days uh, this week. I do have a couple of Disney Park reservations, but Coming here at 2 o'clock, that'll be worth it. And while the parks were at capacity today, I did inquire with one of the team members on how that uh, works for re-entry. And basically, if I understood it correctly, once you 
tap in uh, with your ticket or pass, that means you are in, that is your reservation for the day, and you do have re-entry privileges. So the lesson, as uh, we've been hearing, is get here early, but that is how it works. Tap in and then uh, in and out as you please. And we're just going to wait until we see the entire universal. If it would spin just a little bit faster, we'll be there. Well, that was a super fun day trying out uh, the chargers over here, uh, getting some electrons there, and then just having a nice casual walk around Universal Orlando uh, Resort afternoon. It is, uh, well, it's almost dinner time. So that's what I'm going to do next. I uh, I thought about having uh, dinner out, but um, I want to get up in the morning. So I just now scrapped that idea. I was at Universal. I thought about going to the big fire, but I have a plan for that, which I will do um, some other time. And I, I keep going around seeing all these things that I want to try. And now that I'm here, um, it's getting so frustrating because, you know, I got to sort of pace myself and plan it out. And, you know, I am still worrying if I'm going to get to it all, but that is why I am thankful for my problems. Mm -hmm.